when I had my miscarriage, I was struggling for months. It was January, so I had that whole winter glum. Um, tax time came around, and I'm like, you know what? I'm I'm gonna invest some money. And by invest some money, I mean like $150. It wasn't some huge deal, but it's what I could afford. Um, so I went into it. I found my space. Um, I was able to get some really good deals, which is huge for me. Um, and then it kind of got me back into where I wanted to be. So it's where I wanted to be a long time. And that kind of got me there. And it really, it helped me cope. I do. And I really, like, overall, I, I enjoy doing it. Always have. Um, I did some landscaping for friends in the past. But it was always on their tab. You know, they gave me the budget and I'll give you what you want on your budget. Um, and it was always fun for me. I actually do a lot of watching of, you know, the Facebook pages, um, local gardeners that have images so that I can get a kind of idea of what it's going to look like. Obviously, if I've never seen a plant before, I read the tag, read the tag, helps you out, kind of tells you what kind of plant you're getting. Is it a creeper? Does it mound so it fills in? Um, is it more of a showpiece so it kind of just stands? Um, but a lot of the plants I get, um, usually come from the clearance rack. Let's just say, I try to find deals where I can and I get a little curious. So I'll pick a plant, I'm like, ooh, what's this thing? And I'll do a little bit of research, you know, even there standing in Lowe's or the garden center, I'll be on my phone. I'll get an idea of kind of what it is and do I have that light or do I have that the environment for it to be okay? You know, usually a clearance plant is already on its last whim a little bit. Um, sometimes you can tell that it'll grow out of it, no big deal. Um, but you know, you kind of want to set yourself up for success. I always go in it thinking about a theme, but then I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to move this here and I'm going to do this there. I'm like, oh, this looks nothing like I thought it could, but it always, it just always works out no matter what you have. Probably one of my favorites that I have, it's been just an experiment, is the pineapple. Oh. I took a pineapple from the store. You know, you've seen the YouTube videos, you've seen the little Facebook hacks. I'm like, shh, I got a pineapple. It was a perfect pineapple, you know, like, I was like, I'm gonna see if I can root this sucker. Yeah. So I took a pot and I put him in there and he's still over there and he's huge. So we'll see if we get a pineapple. I think it takes two years is what it said for you to get a pineapple. So I, this year I may get a pineapple off of it. I would say the best tip is really you need a plant for your lifestyle. If you're chill and you really don't want to spend a lot of time, plant it in a way that you don't need a lot of time. If you're an active person outside, you like working in the yard, you know, plant more annuals where you would need to switch them out spring and summer and fall. 